Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and co-host for Resurrect the Republic Dirty Uncle Sam Radio on RBN Network. I come to you with some really good news today. As the United States lamestream media focused on bogus stories, propaganda, and outright lies, even to the point that CNN got caught by citizen journalists in uh, blatant lies, and CNN actually had to apologize publicly for their false reporting. That was uh, pretty amusing, I thought. What is going unreported by the United States media is that the globalist elite bankers are finally being held accountable for their actions. While this certainly is not all of the bankers at this point, it does show that their global control is a scam and is crumbling down like the walls of Jericho as the people of the world unite in this fight to save humanity itself. So if you do not know who this lady right here is, her name is Christine Lagarde. She is the head of the IMF. The IMF is also known as the International Monetary Fund. They control pretty much the banking system of the globe, uh, with the exception, of course, of Syria, which is one of the reasons that uh, there are issues in Syria in the first place. But I digress. So the good news is at uh, 369news.net, is reporting, which by the way, this is a foreign um, blog, foreign news agency. The head of the IMF, Christine Lingardi, in court, she's charged with embezzlement and fraud. Now before I go any further, I think it is imperative for you to understand and know if you do not already know this, that all wars are bankers' wars. They always lead back to the same elite corrupt bankers. They always uh, fund both sides of the controversy. It's in order to gain control over the people, the resources, and all of the such. They are for depopulating the planet. They are not good individuals. So this is very wonderful news that bankers are starting to be held accountable. This shows that the global structure, why they are in such panic mode, especially why they want the corrupt Hillary Clinton to be in office so badly as well, because as you know, the TPP also links back to the International Monetary Fund. Uh, all of this is a plan and the people of the world are done. And this is so wonderful to see, even as lamestream media refuses to let the people know about it. So this is what the article states. Christine Lingardi's humiliation is not only a massive personal blow, which could lead to her resignation, but one which will plunge the world's banking system into further ignominy. The clearly nervous 57-year-old said nothing to reporters as she entered the Court of Justice of the Republic, a special tribunal set up to judge the conduct of France's government's minister shortly after 8.30 a.m. Lagarde faces a maximum sentence of 10 years in jail if found guilty of the very serious charges. It was when she was president, Nicholas Sarsky's, finance minister that she is said to have authorized 270 million pounds payout to one of his prominent supporters, so abusing her government position. The money went to Bernard Tampy, a convicted football match fixer and tax dodger who supported Lagarde as Sarsky's UMP party. It came after Dominique Strauss-Kahn, another French police politician, was sacked as IMF chief following allegations that he attempted to rape a chambermaid in a New York hotel. Ms. Lagarde began campaigning to succeed Mr. Strauss-Kahn soon after his arrest for the alleged crime. But now it is Ms. Lagarde, a lawyer and a retired synchronized swimmer, 
star who is facing a long court process of her own as well as a possible jail sentence. The scandal will not only pile further shame on France's political class, but, and then of course they have a link, IMF. What good have they done for the world? Who is IMF and did they cause a famine in Africa? So the good news is the illusion of these bankers being all powerful and all in control, they are now being held accountable. This would also make sense as to why we are seeing so much uproar and chaos for the false flags, for the paid protesters, for the paid rioters, in order to focus our attention on the smaller issues, because they do not want you to understand that they are losing their power from around the entire globe, which is a wonderful thing. Individuals like her, as well as Soros, Rockefellers, and you can go on and on and on, are all extremely corrupt and have caused many, many, many deaths due to their policies, due to their false flag events that they have been caught in being involved in. And I, for one, am extremely thankful and I am extremely happy to see these globalist bankers finally starting to be held accountable. If uh, I will leave a link in the description box below for this article, you will more than likely have to hit translate because it is not uh, an English paper. However, uh, let's keep an eye on this because there is other news that this paper is reporting on that the mainstream media has refused to touch, which further solidifies the fact that the globalist bankers plan and their scheme, even though uh, Obama, who is trying so hard to make sure Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030 go through, which is all a scam. It has nothing to do with environmentalism. Neither does TPP have anything to really do with trade. It has all to do with control. It has to do with depopulation. If you control the food, if you control the water, if you control the land, if you control all of the resources, you then control the people. Their plan is to depopulate the earth by approximately 90%. So individuals need to understand this is a huge, huge victory on the side of the people. Now, obviously, we do not know if she has been or will be found guilty. We do not know that. This was just published yesterday on August the 22nd. So we will have to keep an eye on this. Thank you. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that this has helped make your day a little bit better. Help share the news. The globalist bankers, we're coming after you for your corruption, for your crimes against humanity, for your embezzlement, for your fraud, for each and everything that you have done. Your new international order is not going to happen. Get used to it.